So is it consistency that just kept building to where you are now? Or did you have like some pretty, you know, big splashes of, of like videos that kind of took you or was it just being consistent, um, you know, to now? Yeah, I think it was just the the consistency. Um, so, and I've had like, I've had some conversations with some other people on the marketing side and they're like, yo, you're an anomaly because like nobody goes viral this many times, like in a row. Like mm -hmm. I think of the 10 or the 11 that I dropped, like only one of them didn't like hit the millions. Like every other one was at least a million, you know? So, um, and I think that's why it happened so fast. So like literally from the end of June to like, I think mid August, I went from, you know, that 2000 or whatever, it's over a million. And like, yeah, it was insane. But I, I definitely think that consistency had a, um, had a large part to do with it because, you know, with every video, uh, that went viral, you know, these people are coming to your profile and they're checking out the rest of your catalog. So that's also, um, you know, they're probably going from that video to a couple other videos. And then right. once they have, like, they've seen two or three and they're like, oh, this is dope. Like, where can I get more? Um, they're going to your Instagram, they're going to your YouTube and your Spotify. Um, and that was evident in my other platforms growth too. So like to give some context, when I first started, um, I was about at like the same point on my Instagram. I had like 2000 ish followers. Um, and then that shot up to right now I'm at 28,000, um, okay. on YouTube. I had like a hundred and a little over a hundred subscribers. Now I'm at 28,000 on Insta, uh, YouTube, um, Spotify. I was getting like anywhere from like 10 to 20 streams a day, like just nothing now. Um, I'll get anywhere from like 10 to 20,000 streams a day. So it's just like, it, it translates over. Dope. Now I, I was, I wanted to get into that because I, I think TikTok is unique in the sense that like you can put your links to other platforms, like right on your homepage. Like they don't, I guess, I think that's going to change eventually. I would, I would imagine, you know, cause platforms don't typically want you leaving their platform. But on TikTok, you can put your YouTube and your Instagram like right there. Do you think that's why it's been easier to get your success to trickle over? Or has have you been doing something else on TikTok to alert people to find you on these other platforms? So, you know, the craziest thing like it is it's crazy. And it's I, I feel like some people I've, I've told a few people and they kind of just like brushed it aside because they thought I was lying or BSing. But like. <laughs> I did, so like uh, I did, um, I did the what's popping remix, the what joiner. So this is like my fourth remix in. So um, the first three, two of them went viral, <clears throat> and I saw a little like I saw spikes in my in my numbers like on Spotify and whatnot. But the biggest, so in between the the third and the fourth video, I was in this like I guess a, a webinar, um, and it had a an influencer. And he uh, he his goal was to like send people over to his YouTube. And one question that I had for him was like, yo, how do you like because he was talking about how fast he grew it. And I was like, yo, how are you getting so many people? It was some insane. I think he went from like a few thousand to like half a million subscribers. It was just some insane number. And I'm like, yo, how are you doing that? Mm -hmm. And he was like, yo, literally all I do is like at the end of my videos and like in the. Like when you first post your video, you have a um, you can like drop a comment and your comment will like be on top for for mo like for the most part, unless I don't know, unless it goes crazy viral and there's a bunch of people that have like comments that comments that go viral themselves, like your mm -hmm. comment will be on top. Um he was like, yo, in that first comment and in like the last two seconds or whatever of my video, I tell people to go over to my YouTube for the rest of the video or for part two or for more or like just whatever. And he does the same thing in the comments. And he said that that was the game changer for him. And I was like, that's it? Like, that's all you yeah. did? And so I was like, okay, sure, like whatever. So I did it in the in the fourth one. Um, and you'll notice that in the in the first three, I, I didn't do that. But in the, um, in the last frame, I said, you know, like search Biddle on Spotify or whatever for more music. And then I did the same thing on in the comments, like search Biddle um, on all streaming platforms or something like that. And that day, like 
I went from having like 580 monthly listeners to like 10,000. Nice. Like the streams just like went 